So if you're like me and you've been craving a tapered cut, but you're not ready to commit just yet, maybe you like to switch things up too often so it doesn't make sense for you, or you're not sure how it's gonna look on you, this is a great option. So of course you're gonna need your hair to be as flat as possible underneath this wig. So what I like to do is style my hair the night before, so I'll wash it and put it in a low bun overnight with like coconut oil or whatever, just kind of weigh down my hair a bit. And what I like to do is put the density of my bun or twist at the top of my head because that's where the wig has the most density. At the back you want it to be, at the nape, you want it to be as smooth as possible because that way you don't have an obvious little bump at the back making it, you know, detectable that is a wig. And then I just bobby pin it down. If you do the wig cap thing, of course you can do that there. I typically don't wear a wig cap, but it's really up to you. And then you just place it on your head very easily, like so. And I like to play with the sideburns a little bit, flick some back, some forward, just so it looks really natural. And you can put some bobby pins just at the top of your head under the bangs if you want, if you want to make sure that it's really, really secure. Um, and that's about it. When it came out of the package, I did have to put a little bit of water and use an afro pig to fluff up the curls a bit because obviously they get flattened um, with shipping. But other than that, it's pretty much ready to go out of the package. I didn't have to do any trimming at all, but you can if you want. It's not going to fit everyone's head the exact same way as it fits mine. So if it does come a bit longer and covers your eyes too much, of course you can snip a little bit of the curls off. And as you can see, the texture looks very believable, looks very natural. And I got it in the color four and it's 100% human hair. So I'm actually tempted to put some maybe blonde tips on this wig, but I'm not sure yet. Let me know in the comments if you think I should leave it or you know, play around a bit, we'll see. So I'm gonna leave the details in the description below for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments by, or by giving it a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. If you enjoy these wig videos, I love hearing from you. And also check out my latest videos before you go. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.